shalom and blessings. We are glad that you have joined us once again today through this week to learn of God's word, to meditate on God's word. We have been looking at the faith journeys of many men and women in the Bible as we have explored Hebrews 11. Today we look at the judges and we see how their weakness was made strong through their faith. Hebrews 11, 33 to 34, And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turn to flight the armies of the aliens. There are three judges who are referred to in these verses, Gideon, Samson and Jephthah, and a military commander of Israel, Barak. And these, uh, the references were made at a very spiritually dark time in Israel. We see that these leaders had serious shortcomings and inconsistencies in their faith. They had weak and feeble faith. But in spite of this, God used them to manifest His glory and execute His power. Let's take each of them and see what uh, we can learn from them. We look at Gideon, and Gideon is a person any one of us can relate to. He was filled with self-doubt and, and fear when he was called by God to fight the Midianite army. But despite his weakness, God uses him to fight the Midianite army with a small number of 300 people in his army. The other person we look at is Barak, also a very unlikely leader. And he was the commander, army commander at the time of Deborah. And he lacked the courage to fight unless he was accompanied by Deborah. And we see that God used his weakness to fight the Canaanites and establish his victory. The other person that we see here is Samson. Samson was a judge who was called to deliver Israel from the Philistines. And we see that there were, that there were, there were many heroic exploits that uh, he did, but he had a lot of weaknesses. He gave in to many of the weaknesses of his flesh, till up unto a, a time at the end, he, he was blinded, he was humbled, and then he was chosen. And he finally realized that his true strength came uh, from his dependence on God. And lastly was Jephthah. Jephthah was a man who was rejected and ostracized by his family. But God called him to fight the armies of Ammon and he trusted in God and God brought him into victory. So we see through these judges that God used the weaknesses of all of these men for his power and his glory. And all they had to do was just obey God and walk by in faith. What is the lesson that we learn today? That our faith or our lives are not based on our credits or our strengths, but it is based on God. So He is the one who turns every one of our weaknesses into His strength to, to manifest His glory, to manifest His power. So even as we walk in faith, we know that God will use every one of our weaknesses to show His glory. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for what we hear, heard today. We thank you because you do mighty things through us. Despite our weaknesses, our shortcomings, despite the way that we walk in faith, the weak and feeble faith we may have, you execute your power and your glory. We thank you that you walk on behalf of us. You walk on behalf of our faith and you help us, Lord, to reach what you have declared for us. We thank you and we ask that we will always depend on your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.